What up, the Pistons fans? Welcome back to another video. So listen, this is going to be a quick one. Just want to give you guys a quick update. So news just broke that Sixers All-Stars Joel Embiid and Paul George are going to be out for tomorrow's game against the Pistons. So this game is going to be a road game for the Pistons. Now you guys know I don't usually do these types of videos, but I wanted to get this out because of the significance of this game. This is a game that the Pistons absolutely have to win. No excuses whatsoever. The Pistons are now 0-4. They've had some very winnable games. Every game that they've played so far this season has been competitive. And every game was winnable against the Pacers, the Cavaliers, the Celtics, and the Miami Heat. All of those games were competitive and the Pistons were in all of those games and could have won most of those games. So this is a very winnable game. This is kind of a, a win handed to you on a silver platter. You, you still got to show up and play, right? But this is the game that the Pistons absolutely could not lose. The first four games of the season for the Pistons have all been against playoff teams. And this is going to be another playoff team. But without their two best players, there's no reason for the Pistons to lose this game, especially after showing they can hang with playoff teams the first four games. Now, I know that Philly still has Tyrese Maxey, but that's just one guy. And Tobias Harris is now on our side. So some of you may think that's not a good thing, but I still think Tobias Harris is a good player for this team. And I think at some point he's going to catch a rhythm and he's going to show up for this team. Once again, the Pistons cannot drop to 0-5. They can't drop to 0-5, especially against a team that is depleted like the Sixers are right now. As far as the Pistons schedule after tomorrow's game, they've got the New York Knicks at home on Friday, the Brooklyn Nets on the road on Sunday, the Los Angeles Lakers at home on Monday, and the Charlotte Hornets on the road next Wednesday. So the Pistons have a chance here to kind of bounce back next week and really have a chance to improve to 500 if they win these next few games. If they can win the game tomorrow and they can somehow get the Knicks game, it's going to be a tough game against the Knicks, right? But if they can win that one at home, they have a chance at a three-game winning streak because they have the Nets following that game and then the Lakers after that. So I'm really hoping that the Pistons take this game very, very seriously. Like I said, this is a game that they absolutely have to get. I'm going to be very, very disappointed if the Pistons do not win this game. And I'm actually hoping that Tobias Harris can finally break out of his slump against his former team. We all know that Philly fans pretty much just pushed him out the door on his way out. And so this will be an opportunity for him to really show that he still is a quality basketball player, which I believe him to be. I just think he's gotten up to a rough start. The reason why I really say they should win this game is just because from a mental standpoint, the Pistons are trying to build consistency. So if they lose this game, it's a letdown. It's, it's nothing more, nothing less than a letdown. And I'm not sure what that would do to the Pistons' confidence. After having been in games against four straight playoff teams, two of those games being back-to-back, -back, and then if you have a letdown like this against a depleted team, that is not good at all for a young team trying to build an identity. So this is very, very important that they can at least get this monkey off their back, get in the winning column, and just try to string some wins together. So that's the update for you guys. The Pistons will be playing the Philadelphia 76ers tomorrow night without Joel Embiid and Paul George. And as you guys know, I'll be right back here post game to break it all down. Hopefully I'll be breaking down a win and we can all just kind of go from there. So appreciate you guys hanging with your boy. And as always, Detroit versus everybody. Peace. I'm on my way up and I'm not gonna stop. We headed straight to the top in the low. I gotta face it. I got no.